Hey, this is Shovelhead Fedge, and today I am not in the Shovelhead Shed. Where I'm actually at is a place called Pine Level, which is about 10 miles from my home. Um, Pine Level is, a, uh, is an actual ghost town. Um, and the reason why I'm doing the video today is because a lot of guys are asking, what do I think about the trike? What do I think about the pros and the cons? What kind of trike is that? Who makes this trike? Is it homemade? You know, did, did somebody else manufacture it or something like that? And so I thought, what a great idea to uh, to bring you guys out here to Pine Level. If you guys ever get a chance, um, look it up on Google, Google Pine Level, Florida. And I thought, well, what a great place to actually show the bike is, is here in Pine Level. Like I said, it's a ghost town. Um, the people lived here were this was a very very rough place to live and you had to be very hardy to live here now the reason why I'm equating the pine level to the trike I'm gonna get to that in a second um, this place was so tough actually this tree right here is the actual hanging tree behind you uh, or behind the camera was where the original uh, courthouse was uh, I would show it to you but it's just an orange grove now there, there's nothing there but uh, when you were found guilty, when you were tried and then found guilty, you would get your appeal, and your appeal was begging for your life as you got to this tree right here. This tree has been downed, I think it was Hurricane Donna in, in the early uh, 1960s when Hurricane Donna, Donna blew through Florida. It blew the tree down, but this is an array, uh, the original hanging tree. This tree has actually had men hung in it. I don't think any women were ever hung here, but I do know that men have been hung here. Um, for murders and, and things like that. Swiss justice was very, very swift, especially in a southern town in Florida. Uh, and so the reason why I'm equating this bike to, to the ghost town is because this is a Harley Davidson. This is a 2011 Street Glide Harley Davidson. Basically, it's an FLH. It's not basically, it's an FLH Triple X, which is based off of the Street Glide. They took a Street Glide and they put a, a an extra wheel on it and called it a trike. And the reason why it didn't catch on was because Harley Davidson realized that immediately people started putting trunks on the on the back of it, or the, I mean, uh, boxes on the back of it, and that they'd rather have boxes and and they wanted the trunks and all that. So what they did was they basically took the Ultra. They discontinued this model. They took the Ultra and they made that into a trike. So this was this is very limited. They didn't make a lot of them. Um, I want to think it was for two years. Um, I'm pretty sure it was just for two years. Um, you know, a lot of guys are embarrassed about trikes. It's the geriatric glide. It's for the old man, and and that's just all horse crap. Um, I'm not going to get into the details of of what's going on, but. There are days when I ha if I want to ride, I have to ride a trike. Um, and it is for medical reasons. And so generally, if you see me on a trike, that's usually the reason why. And so there's no shame in the game. Um, it's just like the men that lived here, you rode horses. That The motorcycle was the horse. And you rode horses to, to, to get to where you wanted to go or you walked. Well, the, motor, the motorcycle took over the place of the horse. Well, when you could no longer ride a horse or because you lost your leg or because you lost your mobility, then you rode a buckboard, um, which was basically a four-wheeled cart with some wood slats. It wasn't the fancy carriage because that was for the rich, rich folk and the uppity folk. They just rode a buckboard. Um, this is basically the buckboard of the motorcycles. Um, there are a lot of people who have physical ailments that cannot hold the bike up. They're too old, or they're too weak, or, or you know, um, the dude just wants to get out and ride, and uh, he still wants his knees in the breeze, and he wants to ride, but there's no snow way because of, for whatever reason, he's going through chemo, lost the leg, diabetes, no longer has the strength. Uh, females, a lot of females can't hold up the weight of the bike, so what are their choice? They have to ride a Sportster. Instead, they want to ride at the big V-twin. Oh, here you go. So there is absolutely no shame in riding a, uh, riding, uh, riding a trike. Um, and and if you think it is, then, uh, man, I, you know, it's a brotherhood. We're all, all, we're all out here for the same reason. Um, the pros of this is, yeah, you're not going to drop it. Um, 
I, I, I see tons of pros. The con is, is really, the only con is that this bike, it's, it's a push and pull. You're not leaning. You're not leaning into a curve. So your muscle memory and your mind is telling you to lean because you're used to riding motorcycles, but the reality is there's no, leaning doesn't do anything. Um, so it takes me like 15 minutes to get used to riding a trike because I want to lean and stuff like that when it's just push-pull. Uh, so you're actually moving the handlebars, steering the handlebars. You're not steering in the curve. I mean, you're not leaning in the curves and leaning out of curves. You're steering in the curves and steering out of curves. You're not going to make any sudden movements. If something darts out in front of you, you're not going to be able to lean and go around it. You, got, you have to go straight through it. Um, if you try to make a, a sudden change in direction, yeah, you're screwed. Um, I think the braking is better. Um, of course, you can handle, you can carry more stuff. Um, I really don't know the cons, to be honest with you, other than people don't think you're cool. Well, you know... You probably weren't cool to begin with, and if you're riding motorcycles just because you think you're cool, well, then you're really riding them for the wrong reasons anyway. It's my opinion. Um, I would show more of the um, more of the trike, but you've seen it, you know. Um, you've you've seen you've seen this trike many many times. But anyway, you know, I wish you could have seen the last video that I made. It was just absolutely perfect, absolutely awesome. And after rambling on for about 15 minutes, I realized that I didn't turn the mic on, such is life. Uh, what I wanted to, to say is that um, in Florida, you can get a, a trike license that allows you to ride a trike. It's not the same license as riding the two wheels. You can only ride a three wheel. Now, if you get a motorcycle license, you can ride one or the other. But with the trike license, license you can only ride the trike. And a lot of the older people are doing that because they are afraid of the two wheels or afraid of dropping the bike. They're afraid that they, they're not strong enough or they can't handle it or whatever the case may be. Uh, a few months ago, I, I met an elderly lady who rode a trike. Wow, something big just went off. Uh, a few months ago, I met an elderly lady. I wanted to think she was 85 or 86. I, was, I think it was 86 years old and she was riding a trike. I think it was the coolest thing in the world, man. You know, uh, in fact, she kind of blocked me in, and and instead of getting on the bike, starting it up and moving it, she just pushed the bike backwards. And I thought, man, that was just so cool, man. I, I hope that when I'm that age, I, I'm still going on. You know, um, so there's that option of getting a trike license. Um, you can do that, and then, like I said, it only allows you to in Florida. It only allows you to ride a trike, and I'm, I'm sure I'm sure that that, that license is reciprocated throughout the United States.
thank each and every one of you, of course, for the like, sharing, and subscribing. I do appreciate every one of your comments. Uh, you guys are the lifeblood of this channel. Um, you support me, um, you know, through your comments and through your thumbs up. It, it triggers the algorithm, uh, which I'm beginning to understand more and more. And I didn't understand it until I started doing it, how important to for the likes and how important for the shares and how important for the comments. I do have a Patreon page. I know uh, you guys are, are sick of probably hearing me say that, but it is what it is. Um, I do have an Instagram page, and I'm gonna, I'll put it right down here. It's Shovelhead Fedge. Uh, I don't do a whole, whole lot on Instagram, but I'm starting to do more and more because I'm learning about it more and more. Uh, I'm, I'm just a, a new guy. I'm a typical old guy. I know how to turn on a computer, but I'm beginning to learn my way around it, and uh, I'm just getting better and better, I think. And, uh, and f judging from your comments, I think you think, think that also. So that's cool. Thank you guys for the comments, man. If you'll hit the notification bell, it's very, very important um, that, uh, that you get notified whenever I release a video. I, re I release a video twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays. And uh, I do appreciate you guys watching, man. And uh, thank you so very much. And uh, that's about it. All right, peace. You know, I'm riding back home and I'm thinking, you know, number one, God, this sucks because this is not really the way that I do things, you know, generally how my videos are. But the one thing that I was thinking is that another good thing about the, um, about the trike is that it has a reverse. Yeah, it's got a reverse. I, I don't know why Harley can't put that on the big bikes, you know, on the dressers. Honda's been doing it for a freaking 20, 30 years. I don't know. Another thing, why can't Harley... Just have an electric neutral. That's it. It seems like every bike I've ever owned, any Harley Davidson I've ever owned, I have been continuously trying to find neutral. They're forever trying to find neutral, and you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, yeah, I got back home, got home from the ride, nice ride, a little chilly. See the jacket on? Um, and uh, so I was thinking about that. I was like, yeah, I forgot. Like, I mean, I'm over here trying to think all the way home. What are the cons? What are the cons? And to be honest with you, I, you know, how I ended up getting the bike was I ended up, I bought the bike because uh, a guy had it and he only put like, I was like, I, I thought it had like 2,000 miles on it. 2011 had 2,000 miles on it. The guy died and his son thought he wasn't old enough yet to uh, to ride a trike. He wanted to ride on two wheels and so he ended up selling it, traded it at a dealership. The dealership gave me a good price and I was like, heck yeah, I'll take that. So anyway, um, appreciate it guys. Sorry if the video sucks more than what they normally do, but it is the way that it is. I always say that it is what it is. Um, I'm not much of a talker. All right, I'll see you guys. Peace. Yes? No? All right, I'll see you later.